So welcome to the course Advanced Machine Learning, which is taught in the summer term 2020 at the University of Bonn. My name is Ribana Rocha, and I will give you now an overview over the course. So this course focuses particularly on remote sensing, and remote sensing is nothing else than observing an object from a distance without physical contact. The most commonly considered area is satellite remote sensing. That means a satellite is actively or passively observing the Earth from uh, a distance with different sensor technologies. But remote sensing can also be performed as close range, as, uh, as it is the case for many agriculture applications. And the sensor you use and from which distance you use it always depends on what you want to observe and which resolution you need for your intended application. So in the following lectures, I will always show you applications from which satellite data is used, but also agriculture application with close range sensors such as handheld cameras or UAVs. Um, so during the course, I will focus on three fundamental tasks of remote sensing. And the first one is representation learning. Representation learning is finding a data representation that is particularly suitable for an intended application. This representation can, for example, be arrived by dimensionality reduction, by clustering, feature selection, or by feature extraction. And for agriculture applications, for example, a common information of interest is the health and the growth status of plants. So illustrated here, for example, is a hyperspectral signal of a plant showing the visible and near infrared region of the electromagnetic spectrum. What we know is that the infrared and the red reflectance is an important indicator for the health and the growth status of plants. And therefore, these two features are commonly used as representation as soon as you want to know something uh, about the status of a plant. And this is an example when you have a lot of domain knowledge. But what if you do not have domain knowledge? Then, in this case, the representation is learned at the same time while solving a task such as regression or classification. And both of these tasks will be covered um, in this course. So regression is an estimation of continuous characteristics of uh, such as yield or energy needs per building. Uh, you can see here two examples and the left image uh, shows the detection of grapevine berries and based on the number and the size of the berries you detected uh, we can de uh, deduce the yield. And the red image shows detected buildings in, in satellite image. And based on the size of the buildings, we can use this to derive parameters such as building energy needs. And here's an example for classification. Uh, in classification, we assign each pixel one of, in this case, three classes. Um, so you assign the pixel either arable land, deforestation or forest. And that means that in this case, we assign each pixel a semantic information that is predefined by us. The topics covered in this course range from um, the machine learning basics, where we recap the principle of regression and classification. Then we will talk about representation learning and in the last lectures, um, we uh, talk about introduction to neural networks and more advanced models like convolutional and recurrent neural networks. Um, and with this, thank you very much for your attention and I hope you will enjoy the course. <laughs>